Paolo Frizio. With you, we have one of the greatest trumpet players of the world in jazz now here at Jazz Baltica. We're very happy that you're here. This is not the first time that you're playing here, is it? Well, I think it's the second time. I was here with Richard Galliano and Jan Lundgren with the Mare Nostrum project maybe seven, eight years ago. I don't remember exactly when. It was in the in the old place, in the castle or something like, uh, like this. The salt castle. Yes. Now here it's a, it's a harbor and um, well, it's a different place. You play in the band with uh, this um, Vladislav Sendetsky, piano player. He's from Warsaw, Poland, and his compositions is the theme that you are playing with. How is the feeling with that? Fantastic. He sent it to me, the music, in, in the last uh, two weeks. And uh, it was really nice. And today we rehearsed the um, three hours together with the string quartet and the bass player. The drummer was not there, but he will be there tomorrow. And uh, I like very much the music because it's, uh, it's a mix, it's a crazy mix <coughs> between uh, the romantic music with the, some ballad and very, very poet, poet, poetic uh, music with some moment very completely free and uh, with a lot of improvisation so i like it very much because it's a, i think it is a is a good mix between all you know this is the contemporary music in, in the sense that uh, we can play the, the the real notes at the same time we have a space to go uh, to go very far and uh, so the, the feeling today was uh, was fantastic. Uh, I think that tomorrow will be a nice concert. Okay. When I listen to the music of Vladislav Sandetsky, I always have the feeling that uh, Monsieur Chopin is just looking around the corner like that. Maybe, maybe yes, I agree. <laughs> yeah. But no, not not just Chopin. I think that. Uh, he mix. He tried to mix in this music uh, many, many different uh, elements, you know. And uh, I like, I like very much because he's very intelligent, and and uh, we have many things to do, uh, to try. Okay, but you're a composition too. So, um, how do you come together with his things? They are different from your composition. Well. Some things is completely different, but some things is really close to my music too. Because it was very impressive today, because we play two or three very <coughs> slowly ballads that is in the same idea like me. It was very easy for me to play this this music with the harmon mute, for example, or with my flugelhorn, and uh, so. Yeah, I think that he has two different uh, attitudes in music. The first one is, is very open and completely uh, free. I don't know. Is that maybe it's not? It's not. It's not a good. The, the, the real word for 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 this. But the second one is a very um, uh, <coughs> melodic uh, music. You know. And uh, I'm a melodic player, and you know I'm, I'm, I like it very much. And also, when I'm on stage, I, I bring my electronic stuff, you know, some harmonizers and delays. And finally, I think that tomorrow uh, we can put together the melodic part of this music and the crazy part of this music, you know, uh, with a different kind of sound. So the harmon mute. The, the open trumpet, the flugelhorn, and also the electronic uh, sound from from the, the the machine. Then you have a lot of contrasts. In his music, I think that we have a lot of contrast. And the idea tomorrow is to bring a lot of uh, sound that is the contrast for me in the, in this this music. <laughs> 